You're closing the door, Jane. You've left me on my own. Sorry. Good morning, everybody. I'm just hoping we can get our Facebook going. I know you can see us over on YouTube. It looks like Facebook's joining us as well. Good morning and welcome to Natasha Mates. Do you know, Jane, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever whether I've got sound on all my devices or anything. <laughs> I've just thrown Natasha out of the studio who was on the phone. Get out, get out, get out. Um, because it's Make It Monday with me and Lee, Jane. It is. It is. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, Jane's been having a very colourful weekend. Look. Making such a beautiful quilt. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous fabric. It's Alison Glass fabric, lovely. which is beautiful. Talking of which, I need to press a few buttons to make sure that you guys can buy it. Because that'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. It'd be um, helpful. Jane, tell us a little bit about the project. We had this fabric come in because we've been waiting, haven't we, on we have. tender hooks for fabrics to arrive. <laughs> any Because we're like, any fabric will do. <laughs> and... This lovely Alison Glass came in and it has a free pattern with it. Well, we looked at the pattern and we didn't have all of the fabrics that were in the pattern. Mm -hmm. So I adapted the pattern to fit with what we'd got. And we've come up with this, which is rather lovely. Well, also, you had a different way of putting it together, didn't you? Yes. <clears throat> Listen to me, I'm all hauls. Yes. <sighs> Dear me. The um, free yes. instructions, as always, are quite scant. So I thought, well, I'll adapt the pattern yeah. and I'll give you a better set of instructions. So, so it's a different so method that of putting you know. it together and a different combination of fabric. Yes. But the same kind of overall effect and yeah. look. Similar layout. So different. Yes. This is different in many different ways. Different but the same. But yeah, yes. but it gives you the similar effect, but yeah, with a Jane yeah. with a Jane piecing and method. A strippy a strippy quilt like this, strip quilt, is a classic quilt that goes back forever and ago. Because yes. it's, it's a very quick way of putting fabrics together to create a quilt top. So, you know, it's, it's a good weekend project. You yes. know, you put this together in a couple of days, Which no problem. Great, isn't it? Cause sometimes yeah, because sometimes you, want you just want something make. quick. You've got a friend that you want to make a quilt for, or you've got a nice selection of fabrics that you really don't want to cut up into little pieces. I mean, these are three and a half inch strips, but... If you don't want to cut them up too much, but still show off the fabrics. And these are lovely, like, tonal fabrics. So we were able to match in our planes in between, which gave it a lovely rainbow style it's lovely. effect. It's beautiful. And those, I think those planes really help just to break up the pattern as well, which is Well, great, yes. So. And, it, and it's, you know, for example, in this one, we were able to, there's the yellow in there as well as the yellow yeah. background. So the two, the, I've tried to keep the planes so they pull out the two colours in it's both beautiful. so it, it sort of blends it in it's beautiful jane you've done a grand job thank you it's marvelous you're going to trip over things now I tell you it's all going on this morning um i better check that people can see and hear us and that they're saying hello and all that sort of stuff that would jane. be great I think that it's would not be much nice. fun talking to yourself <laughs> it's no fun at all <laughs> jimmy's with us says good morning everyone and jane vivash as well good morning um helen says good morning everyone and pat as well and auntie lizzie says good morning fabric family Morning, oh, Auntie Lizzie. Morning, Auntie Lizzie. Indeed. Um, oh, they're all saying good morning to each other as well, which is great. Hello, Gabriel, too. Over on YouTube. Yes, we've got viewers. Oh, Farmer Ali says good morning from a windblown West Berkshire. I oh, know. I hope everybody's safe because it's been awful, hasn't it? Particularly for the, our, our friends up in Scotland. <gasps> Terrible. You've had all that there. snow and now you've got virtual tornado weather. It's, it's crazy, awful. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yes, we hope you're all safe and well. There aren't too many trees down and things. We had a brief power cut yesterday. Oh, did you? I felt very lucky because it was a quick one and it was over and done oh, with. Yeah. Um, Diane Ilsley, so a Derbyshire die, says, Morning all, not so windy today. Looking forward to this morning. Uh, us too. And Angela's with us as well. She says, Morning from a windy Wiltshire. I think there's still quite a bit of wind going yes. on. Yes. It was nice and still as I drove over and much warmer than last week. Oh, gosh, yes, that's the main thing. It's a lot yeah, warmer. I know. Let's just this hope is it our weather rain. report. We do this. British, we talk <laughs> yes. about the weather. We have to talk about the weather. <laughs> That's what we There's do. There's nothing else to talk about. Well, this is the thing. We do love a bit of weather talk, don't we? Yes. Jane, these fabrics, they're chrysanthemum, which has been designed by Alison Glass for Andover Fabric. Yes. Um, it's beautiful. It is. Really it's a rather really beautiful. lovely collection. It's typical Alison Glass. It's got the most gorgeous colour tones, yeah. bright, vibrant. I love it. There's a definite lace 
theme running through yes. as well as there is often with Alison Glass. You see those lace aspects, yes. don't you? They're Absolutely, beautiful. yes. I've got her lurking in the doorway. That there, Natasha, are you all right? Yeah, I've got my face on. So. <laughs> I've got her face on. You won't see her. No, you wouldn't no, recognise no, no. her. And I did just grab clothes off the floor drawers this morning. But floor drobe clothes she's wearing yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to say, any members, I don't know if you guys are yeah. here, there is, I will repeat. Any yeah, members? Anyone that is on our membership. So if you are a member of the Natasha McCarty Designs membership mm -hmm. subscription website, yeah. You will be getting an email with a code, or you can find the code in the new discount section. So, yeah, those of you who are quilt. members, we're going to show you the quilt kit in a moment. I was going to tell this when we showed the quilt kit, but she can't hold it in. She's too yes. excited. <laughs> the quilt kit's coming to you today, and it's a great price anyway. Um, but for those of you who are a subscription member, and the subscription, if you're not already signed up, the, well, there's two levels. The basic standard level is $6.99 a month, and the premium is $16.99 a month. You're going to get £10 off this kit if you work fast, because we do have a limited number of fabrics, which is where I was about to get to when we were yes. talking about the Alison Glass. We don't have a huge amount of stock. That's what Natasha was doing first thing, was trying to secure more stock before I threw her out of the studio. <laughs> um, but we just can't get it. So if you love this kit today, you'll be able to get the kit as it stands if you work quickly. We may be able to put a few more kits together with a different binding fabric. Yes. That's something we're looking at doing for you. Um, and you can trust us on that. Jane's great with that. We'll choose something lovely. But actually, individual skews and individual fabrics are going to be, if we can put any up, super, super, super limited. Yes, so absolutely. So you need Excuse to move me quick on this one. But if you are a subscription member, a member of Natasha McCarty subscription membership, then if you go to the website, the subscription website, you will see there's a discounts area on the website now. And there's a code there. You just need to use that on the Natasha Makes website and you will get £10 off this kit today. Nice. It's not bad, Bargain. is it? Yeah. Not bad work. Because it's a good price already, isn't it's it? It's a great price already. So, Jane, I'm going to go into overhead so you can show these fabrics. Yes. Um, because they are beautiful. They are lovely. Like we say, they're an Alison Glass creation for Andover. She says, Jane, that the fabric collection is inspired by the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. Oh, lovely. Um, and she got tickets to the museum gifted to her by a friend when she moved from Virginia to Mass Massachusetts. Um, but apparently there was an infamous art heist in 1990, and so she knew a little bit about the museum, but she'd not been, and she'd watched some documentaries, and it had mostly been about the stolen paintings, but she said the absolutely beautiful experience she had of going to the museum is what's inspired this fabric collection. Yes. I have a feeling that the museum building has been an inspiration for this collection, yeah. and, I'll let, and you'll see why I think that in a minute. There's all sorts going on with them. You've got contrasts of light and dark. And she said that that's part of what makes the Isabella as a, as a museum so captivating. Yes. It's just beautiful. Yeah. But she said she wanted that to come through in the fabrics along with layers upon layers of texture. So canvas, patina, stone, print, flora and fabric as well. Yeah. So I should let you show everybody, Jane. She's These are beautiful, swan. aren't they? I, I don't know the names of all the collections. So. I do. <laughs> I'm just got on this. the other side of the room at the moment because I've got a bit of paper to grab, but I'll be there. Don't you worry. We've got that this one's one. lace, I think. It's lace, and you can see why it's called lace. It's got this lovely overprint. There's like a stripe underneath, but then this overprint of what is like a lacy pattern. This is lace in mint. And we've put our spearmint plain to go between because this one is a beautiful floral fabric. It's a smaller floral. Right, that one's tapestry in juniper. And that is sort of blue tones, but it has this um, spearmint minty colour in the background. So that sort of ties those in. We've then got our cyan, which is that lovely blue. And then this print here, and you, I don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera. We might have to go close up. But it's got like a gorgeous, um, almost cathedral windowy type pattern on the background. But over the top are sketches of mythical creatures. Stunning. This is called Folk in Navy. Jane, did you want to go closer? Yeah, on that we could one? do that. And I'll then... let you step before I go into it. We don't want Buzzwam Cam going on. No, so... it's not. There we are. Oh, oh, she says no signal. What? What? <laughs> we don't want that. Don't be so silly. 
We've got to crawl underneath and switch um, it on. I'm going to say that's switched on, Jane, so I don't know why we haven't got our close-up cam. So we're going to have to work with having our overhead cam. We've got all our lights on. Yeah. Something's gone on with that camera. Sorry, everybody. You probably won't be able to see it even if I lift it slightly. Oh, you, you might can. see, like no, the sketchy, sort of in white. And there's right. things like griffins and um, pegasus and type, those sort of creatures. Sure. There's a mythical goat type creature there. I'm going to say a little cable might have come out of the uh, close-up cam or a, a switch might need switching up there. Mm. Mm, we'll get that looked at by our tech guys. Sorry for anyone who just tuned in and saw uh, no signal on the screen. <laughs> We're here. We are here. There is a signal, <laughs> just not to that just close not camera. To that camera. That camera's not happy right now. Okay. Well, we probably won't be doing much sewing then. Well, that's good because I've done quite a bit of prep, so there's no. That's all right. Of all the quilts, this was going to happen for Jane. This, this is, is a good one. one. We it's can a good go one. wide shot while you're sewing. People yeah. will see. It's not like they need to see a really close. No, up because it is just stitching. seaming. Straight seams all the way. Then through. we've got our royal because our royal blue is it's got like a purpley tone to it, so that's really nice, and that sits between this one. And this is where I wonder whether the actual building itself has been an inspiration because I don't. You can probably see this. It's like almost like cathedral windows, and then this pattern. Puts me in mind of the rose window at York. This is stunning. Now, Jane, this one is called but Sunlight. But it also comes over as like a floral. It's beautiful. It's called Sunlight. This is a navy. Now, we can get a little more stock of this. And I mention this now because for those of you who are buying the quilt, perhaps you want to back your quilt with the same fabric. You'd need three metres, so six units of standard width, yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Three metres will be um, just what you need. Excellent. So well, then I've put magenta because this picks up this lovely deep pink here. But then when I put the next fabric, which is the lace, but in a different colourway. That's so lace in hydrangea, isn't it? Beautiful. Hydrangea. You can see how it marries the, the pinks. Of course, because it's Alison's collection, all of the patterns, all of the dyes in the patterns are going to blend. This is the wonderful thing about having a collection of fabrics. You know that they're all going to go together. We've then put our, is it amethyst or lavender? I can't remember. Oh, I very want close. to say lavender. Yes. Yes. Because it picks up the background colours, but then it also works well with this one of the, of the wind. That's sunlight again. again that sunlight. one's in the plum colourway. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Now you can see in there it's got that lovely... Um, yellow colour in so we've put our corn yellow with that which ties in with the lace yeah this is lace again daffodil and then we've gone with hot tomato because that picks up that lovely reddy orange colour which then goes with this one wow. and this is beautiful look this at the called, pots of yeah. flowers in this this is called courtyard I'm going to just move as these in, down as, slightly as can be understood there we go pots, pots of plants in the courtyard there it is and this is Courtyard in Nasturtium. Look at that. It's such a warm, vibrant colour. And we've got this lovely, like, turquoisey blue in here as well, which is lovely and makes the flowers pop. We've then put that with our um, pomegranate because that, again, works with this sunlight. And that, I think that just sort of the planes in there tie between each one, but also work with the whole Beautiful. collection. That's sunlight in crimson on the other end there, Jane. Yeah. And we do have some more stuff for that. So the, all the fabrics that we have here, the only ones we can get a little bit more of are these two. Okay, so if you want to back your quilt in a fabric, maybe you want to make cushions, maybe you just want some extra, who knows, you know. That's fine, but those two. But we do, again, only have a very small amount of stock. So it's there for the taking. And then you've got, so these are all long quarter pieces and these are more than enough to do this quilt. Yes. <clears throat> you could probably make it wider, which means your stripes would go horizontally rather than vertically oh, nice. in your quilt if you wanted it to do, because yeah. you've got more fabric. Um, and then we've got the sketch fabric here. And again, you probably won't pick this up on camera. Oh, I think you can, look at that. But it's got, it's, it's a lovely, it's um, like an ivory white, but more white than our ivory. And then it's got a gray sketching. And, there's, and I think it's sort of like 
it might be taken from Alison's inspiration when she was doing her collection because there's flowers, there's butterflies, there's lines that sort of dis depict the movement of the building. There's even like a little choristers here and some of the folk, the folklore type creatures. It's fabulous. It's really it? pretty. Really, really fabulous. And that's what we've used for the vertical strips between the colours. Yeah. And then we've got the olive fabric here, which we've used for the binding. And it's just that tiny, tiny little edge around the quilt. Yeah, but it just sort but of frames it. The fabric. It acts like sort of almost like really, a wooden frame. Really nice. Let me just have a look, actually, because the other thing is this here. When you look from a distance, yes, you might not see that detail, but you can see. I mean, I can see it from here nice and yes. clearly. Ooh. <laughs> Stood on the foot pedal. It's like carry on sewing oh around my here this God. morning. <laughs> Did you scare the life out of yourself? I scared myself. I was like, why is but the I'm, machine going by itself? If that had been me or Natasha, there'd have been a barrage of swear words. We're so glad it's you, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made us both jump. And the, we, Honestly, accents of ladies and vocabularies of well-educated <laughs> sailors, myself and Natasha, but you, we were safe, Jane. Oh, You're dear. a good girl. Um, so, yeah, the quilt here, you can see you've got little bit of detail whether you can see it from a distance on camera I'm not sure but we can yes but it's delicate it is it's really a softness delicate. so you it doesn't overtake from the main no. fabric which is lovely and what I really like Jane is that you've got flowers within that sketch yes that picks up some of the flowers in some of the fabrics yeah and just generally that sketchy design picks up in that folk panel that we saw that you said looked like cathedral windows yes. with the scribble and and yeah. they kind of they they pull together, which is they really do. beautiful. So it's, it's a really nicely balanced quilt. Yeah. Very easy make. Absolutely. Especially the way that you've pieced it as well, because yeah. we've pieced it differently and, and yes. put it together differently. Um, so yeah, just really, really nice project to have a go at, I think. Yeah, I think, which is you great. know, this is a great beginner's quilt because anybody that's never made a quilt before, you'll, you will be able to make this, no problem. But for, you know, the more experienced quilters of, of you, you'll love this quilt because it's so quick to make. And you could make this, you could interpret this pattern for any width of fabric. Exactly. Because if you wanted your strips to be wider because you've got a fabric with a bigger print that you really, I mean, the cave fabrics would lend themselves beautifully for this quilt. Oh, that would be lovely. In fact, you know, we've got other people having a look at this and imagining their fabrics. Claire says, I've bought some rainbow fabric I was struggling to use, but I've, you've given me a great idea. Thank well, this you. is it. We'd love to inspire you to use we your do. fabrics as well. I mean, obviously we want you to buy our kits because that's what keeps us going. Yeah. But if you've got a lovely collection of fabrics that you might want us to help you with planes with, we'd happily do that for you as well. Yeah. I mean, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great pattern to have in your armoury. I think it's going to be one of those that you might go back to again and again when you've got a quick quilt that you need to make. Maybe a friend's not feeling so good and you want to make a little quilted hug for them. We've lost our camera. How bizarre. What is going on? There we are. We've got our wide. Have we got our overhead back? No. no. Well, just as well, because I don't think we need it now. I think no, we'll the just overhead. go Let's wide. Let's check and the close-up and see if we've got that one back. No, see, that one's, we've lost both now, Natasha, which is good, isn't it? But we've got our wide shot. So and we're I can going to have hold, to work with having our wide shot. I can shot. hold things up we'll have to. for yeah, you. We've now lost, I know, but we've lost our overhead as well now. We had overhead and wide, but now we've got neither of these. We've only got wide. We'll just have to, it's all right. We can wing it. We're pros, aren't we, Jane? Yes, we We're can pros. work. We're pros. We can, can wing work it. It's all this. fine. It doesn't mean you can't escape, however, without being seen unless you're going to crawl. <laughs> She's going to flick some switches again. No one needs to see her face not made up. <laughs> That's not true, because she's beautiful <laughs> she without beautiful makeup. Regardless. Just take me notice. Um, right, I'm going to quickly have a look at our other camera angles, everybody, so don't panic if it says no signal on your screen. Um, close up, no signal, overhead. We've got the overhead back, so leave Yay! that be. Leave that be. Yep. Step away. <laughs> Let's go have overhead. We'll later at what's going on with these. There's something you know, awry with that one up there. That. Natasha, bear enough. with. There we go. Now you can escape. You're safe. It's safe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It does that occasionally, doesn't it? And yeah. we panic, and then we turn yeah. on the next time, and it's like, oh, I thought it was so 
it'll it'll do that whole IT thing of just needing a full power down and a restart. I need one of those. <laughs> do you know what? We all need a good power down and a restart. Um, just remember, everybody, we do have these kits today with a £10 discount for those of you who are Natasha McCarty subscriber members. So if you would like to take advantage of that, get onto the subscription website. You will see in the members discounts area there is a code. You just need to grab that code, place your order as you normally would on the Natasha, McCart uh, Natasha Makes sorry, website, but put the code in the discount box and it will take £10 off for you. That's nice. <laughs> Very nice. That's lovely. And I will say as well, Jane, this is an awful thing to say, but it's true. You might want to make this quilt. You might not. You might just want all of that lovely fabric in your stash. Long quarters with two half metres that are very adaptable in themselves. And you might want to just have it there for yes. stroking purposes or to make other things with. If you've been looking for a beautiful rainbow of fabrics that have been perfectly chosen to suit each other... These would lend themselves no than beautifully to the Lone Star quilt pattern. Oh, they would. Or the trip around the world. Yeah. All of that because you've got that lovely sort of ombre of colours which works very well with the Lone Star and the Triple Rainbow. It was the Rainbow Star and the I think we called it, didn't we? Yeah. On our pattern. I will find that. Do you know what as well, Jane? The Echo Star quilt, that was long quarters as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And of course the Bargello. Bargello works beautifully with these. I will tag some patterns for those of you who are like, what, sorry, pay, what? Um, and you can see just the sort of things you could make with this beautiful bundle. I think that's an excellent yeah. plan. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your fabric up into strips. Now I've done them at three and a half inches wide with the fabric. I then joined the pattern and the plane together in pairs and you'll do that with all of them. Now you cut two of each and you'll make two lots of pairs of your colours um, and then sew them together into um, sets of six pairs. Now the last set when you get to, I've, I've enabled them fabrics B to R because fabric A is the background fabric, which is that yeah. white sketchy one, um, and that's the sashing. The last set, you'll do your pairs and then you'll have one the lovely lace in mint. That'll be your last fabric that doesn't have a pair to go with it. So when you come to do these, you'll put your two pairs together and then you add your last one on. Now, when I'm sewing things together in sets, I will have sewn this. I will have started by sewing my pairs from right to left. And then when I join the pairs together, I'll start at the left hand side and go right. The reason I do this is it prevents the fabric bowing. If you start to sew it all from the same side, it tends to start to bow round a little bit. Banana. Yeah. yeah. We don't like a banana. And I don't know why it does it, but by sewing one one way and then when you join the strips together, sew them from the other side. So you can see on this one, I haven't got the white salvage on this side. So I know that I've joined those together on the non-white salvage bit. And then when I come to join the pairs together, I'll start with the salvage bit on the other side. That's a good marker for me to, to remind me to start from the other end. Whatever works, Jane. It does. It works well so once you've got all of these done and you'll have two sets like these you're going to cut your segments up and of course the strip energy ruler works beautifully for these but also if you've got your um is this called a big easy what oh, is the big easy yeah. because you need to cut segments um to a certain size having the big ruler where you can see instantly how yeah. wide you need the segments to be really helps. I have to say, I do love my Stripology XL, Jane. Yes. Because it's a bit like having the bumpers up <laughs> when you go Well, bowling. it really helps. And it for beginner quarters particularly, going like this with my you're going to get a off. nice consistent yeah. width of strip. Um, and it really does help. And you can fold your fabrics up into four because the, um, the, the, the Stripology XL just isn't quite long enough to do the half width. But if you fold it into four, you'll get it that way. Excellent. So your Big Easy is really great as well for cutting your big sections. 
and you'll do this with each of your you're going to have two lots like this from the one sub um, strip set you'll get your four pieces and then from the last one you'll cut one which means that you have leftover fabric this I've already cut one strip set from this so I'm cutting another one so I'd get three from the leftovers Beautiful. so you could make yourself a narrower runner or cushions or, or, cushions, or you know you could just use up the, the set the subsets yeah. as they are in actual fact, Jane, if you turn that round, that bit you've just taken away, yeah. you'd have a lovely sort of rectangular pillowy shaped cushion. Yeah. Go and you could like do that. one that colour, you could do one with the other half or the bit. Yeah. And you could have yeah, you could have different the cushions, ones. frame them with That'd the with lovely, the sketch. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Oof. You will only have enough of the sketchy fabric to do the quilt behind. Okay. Your subsets you've got more. Yep. But the sketchy and the olive will only be enough to do what you need for the one quilt. So you'll need to cut your sections of your strip sets from each of your strip sets. And you will have three, three strip sets to work from. Jane, it does look like we can get a tiny bit more of the... Um the sketchy oh lovely so I am going to load and it is a, a limited amount that we've got but perhaps if you're buying the kit and you want to buy more of the stonework sketch that light color fabric what we'll probably do is we'll well I don't know that we mm, I'm, I'm not going to say because we've got pla <laughs> we've got planes that we could use for the binding yeah. but we might have something else that we could well, I'm use I'm going to hope we've got a bumbleberry or some linen texture or something amazing yes. we'll have a good rummage to see what we've got so keeping Indeed. the order of your fabrics because we've labeled them a to r just keep them in the alphabetical order and you'll notice that you'll then have a a plane and a patent next to each other so you'll just literally sew those together then into a long strip so you str you you sew strip set two to strip set one and we're just straight seams aren't we jane yeah just you know, quarter of an inch seam throughout, as always. This is a right back to basics kind of quilt, isn't it? Just it really is. Seams. Just straight seams. And just being consistent. Yeah. I'm always wary of saying a beginner quilt because, yes, it, it's beginner compatible. Yes. But for those who've been quilting for a while, sometimes it's just lovely to sit and just sew straight seams and produce yeah. something and go, and have a, that's a, done. A quick quilt to make. Yeah, you know, absolutely. sometimes you just a, a gift for a friend, or you know, this would make if you cut your strip smaller, it'd make a lovely baby gift, wouldn't yeah, it, for really a baby lovely. friend who's having a baby shower or something like really that. Nice. So yeah. there's loads of scope for your leftovers. Yeah, loads absolutely. and loads of scope for your leftovers. I'd love to see people making multiple projects out of this. Also, Jane, we before now with the Alison glass previous Alison glass that we've had that was a lace print as well yeah we have made the easy flex frame sunglasses um yes kit as well yeah which is lovely it's nice really nice sunglasses case is the word I'm looking for yes um so you've I got your strip discovered, it's beautiful isn't it I discovered we've got a couple of those left so I've put those at 50% off that's it they're gone then um but I will put the instructions up as well in the flex frames because you left over bits and bobs these yeah. are gorgeous and they'd make such nice sunglass cases. They'd be stunning. They would, so, wouldn't yeah, they? Have a little look on today's collection. You just need to go to the Natasha Makes website, either click the Watch Live page or the Make It Monday tab. Make sure you click to view all and then scroll down the page and you'll find those kits. They're there, lurking, waiting for you, but not many of them left at right. all. I think there's only a couple. So you're going to cut from your sketchy fabric you'll kind of cut some width of fabric strips. You will need, you'll need six strips. You'll cut two of them in half along, essentially what is a natural fold in the fabric so that you have half width of fabric strips. And then you'll join a full width and a half width together and you will have to trim it down um, so that it's then the same measurement as your strip set. And you'll attach that you have five of these and you'll attach four to the right hand side of your strip set 
and then you'll have one that's on its own. So you'll join those together. <laughs> singing in the background, go away. <laughs> join those together and then you'll join your last one on. She'll distract you, won't she, Jane? Yeah. So that's Jane. So you <laughs> get <laughs> all of that together. You so what it really wants, is a very quick quilt to, it really to do. It really is. Um, it's such an easy, quick go together one. And it works really nicely. Stunning. Stunning. Look at that. It's beautiful, Jane. I love these fabrics together. Natasha, I was just saying, the mm -hmm. Alison glass, we had the lace print before in aqua. Yes. And we had that as our Easy Flex frame kit. Now, I think we've got a couple. Two. Is it two? two? Great. I've put those up at 50% off today. So they are a grab-it-quick situation. But this, wouldn't this look beautiful? Whatever leftovers they've got. Oh, yes. Beautiful to make yeah. those. And it's a really quick and easy make of Natasha's, that one. The easy um, sunglasses a nice, case. Again, a nice gift to give to somebody. Yeah, really, really nice. Beautiful. Jane, this is like... There's something for everybody here, isn't there? We always say, don't we, that, you know, I, I like my blues and my teals as you guys do, and I like... It's like lovely, the warm, singy colours. Well. She likes the pink and oranges together and you've got it and it just flows all the way through. It's, it's, it's a lovely collection of fabric it really and this pattern is. is a really nice one to show off the fabrics. Yes. It gives it, I mean, you can see there the, mm -hmm. the warmth of those colours coming yeah. down. They look amazing, don't they? They do. They do. It's and then gorgeous. I've quilted it, I've quilted it with an overall meander. Um, I've done it with under. I've done it with like a very pale grey, which seemed to work with all of the colours. Yeah. Okay. It blended nicely. I so, think as well because the sketchy is just that little bit of grey in it. Hasn't yeah. It with the, with the, um, but you could use a variegated thread if you had a variegated ooh, thread. You could use beautiful. that. That would look really pretty. And Jane, you free motion quilted this, haven't yeah. you? But if someone was perhaps you know less confident with their quilting, wanted to keep the quilting really simple. I think okay. straight lines would work really well with this. And I, and I did sort of like in my head, I thought, am I going to do this straight lines going across yeah. or am I going to do it um, vertically? Yeah. So you could either or, or you could do vertically in here and yeah. horizontally or either other in way the around. Ditch or yeah, or sort of just echo echoing it or even, you know, doing inch wide. So you yeah. get strips going all the way through. Yeah. With your walking foot, you'll have your guide on there. So once you've done your first line of stitches, yeah. you can use your guide then to keep it consistent. Or you can use masking tape to mark it, or you could mark it with your fabric marker. Whatever works for you. Fabulous. But the meander made it a quick quilt. Yeah. You know, that's another quick way of getting it quilted, is just to do a, you know, take a line for a walk, really, is what you're doing with that. So, you know, and you don't have to have it too close together with a meander. No, absolutely. So and there's quite a, a good gap between them. It's a shame, actually, because I don't know whether you can see it too well. No, I think you can on screen. But, yeah, it's a decent size gap between them, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it just looks like you've had loads of fun with that, Jane. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lovely make, actually. It's beautiful. I really love it. And realistically, Jane, it didn't take very long to cut. Cause no. You're consistently cutting. Well, it's strip with your stripology ruler, yeah. you can cut four or five strips in one go. Yeah. And we have got the stripology uh, rulers today on delayed dispatch. Uh, in theory, they're on their way to us. Yes. So she says, fingers crossed. So if you did want to order one, they are an absolute godsend, aren't they? And they're one of those things that once you've got them, it's, it's there. like any of your rulers. Yeah. They might you, you might feel that they're quite a um, considered purchase. considered purchase. Yeah. But yeah. once you've got it, you've got it, and you'll be amazed at how often you'll use it. Every time you cut your binding, you'll go to your stripology because you can cut five strips all in one go, you know, if not more. Um, if you've got stri six strips, which is what you need for this quilt, you just do those in one lot without having to reposition your fabric and reposition your ruler. Mm -hmm. Your stripology just lets you put your ruler over the top and you just whip down each one each time. It's really helpful. And the stripology, Create and Craft stripology, they have... 
the creative all grips. All the creative yeah, grips, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Have <laughs> fraudulent slip. They have all, right. all of the markers on there and easy to follow. So if you want one and a half inch wide strips, you've got a star to follow. If you want two and a half, there's a square. So it's a good visual, guys. You don't yeah. have to count the marks each no, time. you don't. You've got these marks here. Because it sounds really easy, doesn't it, that you'll be like one and a half, three, four and a half, six. But actually, all you need to do is just line up with your star and you yes. can be quite brainless in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and just follow it. Just them. follow it straight away. So, you know, lining, if you've got your, your strip of fabric, your width of fabric here, it's folded into four. I'm not going to cut this, obviously, because it's part. It's a kit that somebody's probably already purchased. But you're going to line up your cut edge with this side, line up the base, the, the solid line at the base, and you're just away. One, you know, it's three and a half inch strips, so you get two from there. Three and a half and seven is your markers there. One line there to straighten it three and a half, seven, and you've cut your two sets of strips that you need. And you can see then that you're gonna have a three inch piece left over Lovely. that you can use for whatever you wish. Absolutely. I, Jane, as you know, my biggest obstacle to sewing in general, but quilting in particular, was the cutting. Yeah. Because I just felt like if my cutting wasn't consistent, then my piecing wouldn't be consistent and then it would all go wrong. And actually, it's pretty accurate. You know, if your cutting goes off, you start. Yeah, it it's it sets you up. You you'll have difficulty keeping your consistent seam. You'll yeah. have difficulty getting your pieces to join together afterwards. So, your cutting. It's like when you do anything, isn't it? Your foundation work. Yeah. Is makes a good end finished product. So you're good taking your time with your cutting and keeping that consistent and accurate. Yeah. Makes your quilt go together, which gives you a a better finish which makes you feel better yeah. because everything's gone together the way it should go together Definitely. so yeah it's a stripology is really helpful particularly as a beginner because it's all it's visually visually it's all there for you you can see straight away where you need to cut each time yeah. which it's is really helpful and as we said you know yes it's a considered purchase but once you've got this it's going to help you so much Hugely, hugely. Jane, we have got a number of questions, so let's have yeah, a look at let's those. Answer those. Um, well, we'll have a look at YouTube first, I think. Let's do that. Well, Chris says anyway, good morning, Jane. Good morning, Gemma. I'm watching you on YouTube today, so we'll say good morning to morning, Chris. Morning, Chris. Um, Cynthia says, greetings. That collection of colours would be fitting for a temperature quilt. Yes. I'm making one at the moment using a colourful collection of bandanas. It's for those of you that don't know what a temperature <laughs> quilt is, you work out your colours within a temperature range um, for the atmospheric temperature, mm -hmm. outside temperature, if you like. So for the month of January, February, let's say you've chosen blues and, and greens, as the temperature goes, and then you go into your warm colours, as you do your quilt, each day you find out what the daily temperature is, and you cut your fabric according to that temperature, and then when you put all that fabric together, you're going to get one that starts off, let's say you've chosen blues, goes through the blues and goes to the warmer tones in the summer, hopefully, mm -hmm. and then back into the cooler tones yeah. as we go back to December. And it's a really good, like, you just do it, you can do it once a month or you can do it each week. You can have, like, your seven fabrics, and they tend to be strips of fabric that yeah. are then joined together, and it's really good fun. And people have done it with knitting and crochet. Yeah, and, of yeah. yeah, so she knits... A temperature scarf every year yeah and she has I mean 40 odd different yeah. colors of yarn all yeah. in different packets all with the, the number on yeah um, and she does she does a row for each day and there it is and you it's so fun because each year she'll put, lay them out next to each other yeah for that month and say well this is the current month but look what it was like the last three years because yeah. she's yeah. got them for each year she right. broke her arm bless her oh, no. I know and she said how on earth am I going to do the quilt and a lovely lady down the road but it's all right, I'll knit you a row a day until your arms are Oh, how just, lovely. Just the loveliest thing. That's what crafting friends do isn't for you, isn't so it? Isn't that so true, though? It was yeah. gorgeous. But, yeah, so nice to do. 
Yeah. Um, we have Facebook questions and comments as well. Sylph says, Buzzwam can blew a fuse. It was too much Buzzwam. <laughs> we were both really careful today on the Buzzwam front. Yes. And I got you to yeah. step back and everything. Yeah. No. And you didn't want to do it. <laughs> Joy Hall says, gorgeous fabrics. They are gorgeous fabrics. I'm going to get Jane to fan them out again while, yes. I, um, while I just... They yeah. are stunning. Auntie Lizzie said they looked stunning on the black ironing mat. They did. So we're spilling over here. So maybe... Yes. I fan mean, them out if you're not way. keen on having... The white, mm, yeah. you could put a black in there or a dark grey and it would look stunning as well. The black would really make the colours pop. Or even like a really deep midnight blue, yes. something like that. I love a oh, rainbow with a midnight yeah. blue. I think our midnight blue Hang that on. we have in <laughs> our planes. As it happens, as my sleeve shows, have a little look, I'm, a, I'm in a navy slash midnight, aren't I? Yeah. Although it's going to look black on the it screen. It does look black just, on the screen because it's a very, very, like you say, midnight blue. Yes. But I'll let you fan those back out, Jane, while I uh, look through the other comments and questions. Um, but yeah, Syl says fabulous colours. They are just Joy's already lovely. said they look lovely with black fabric as well. Good morning to Donna. You've just got a lovely rainbow of colours there that really do they blend are beautifully. Beautiful. Jane Gray says, good morning. I'm enjoying a little much needed downtime today following a mental week and before this madness starts. <laughs> yes. Wendy's asked how we stopped the strips from bowing, but we talked about that. So Jane was saying, when she pieces her rows, don't what just all I piece do. from the yeah. same side. We, I start from one side. Now, when you, you cut your fabric and you have your selvages, you can see on here, when I put the pairs together, I start on the non because you tend to have a white selvage, don't you? And um, a plain selvage. So when I cut my strips, I would, one side or another, but consistently putting the pairs together, I would start consistently with my white selvage, let's say. And then when I'm sewing the pairs together in the strip sets, I'll start at the other end to join those strip sets together. And that prevents your fabric bowing. And it's, or bananaing or it's these curving kind of or whatever you want to. That we really love because if you're <clears> thinking it, somebody else is thinking it. Yeah. And please do ask them. That's what Jane is here for. So There's don't no ever such be thing as a silly question. You can guarantee someone else is really glad you've asked that question. So please yeah. do always ask these questions in the comments. We love it. Joe Standage says, "Oh dear, it fell into my basket. My kind of quilt. Dear, yes. Don't blame you." Don't blame you. And the fabric is beautiful. I think there's just so much you can do with it. Absolutely make the quilt. But if you're not a quilter, then this bundle here is, oh my gosh, look at it. Look at my it, beautiful James. fabric projects. You know, strip the, sew the strips together and make it into a bag. You know, one of the beach bags would look stunning with that, wouldn't they? With a, You could do the, the warm tones on one side and then the cool tones on the other. Yes. You could have real good fun with that fabric. Really gorgeous. And a bargello would be lovely as well. I'll get you to just yeah. explain a bargello a little bit more in a moment, Jane. <laughs> look, look forward to that one in <laughs> word form. Uh, Becky says, woohoo, I've ordered mine and it's being delivered to work so the hubster doesn't know. Um, <laughs> Becky, we are not here to judge, dear. We no. are fabric enablers and we know the importance of having the lovely things in life, don't we? We do. It really does help. Um, we may or may not have enabled a little more for some customers than others. Yes, we might so, have told them they've won <coughs> something <laughs> if on you, their package. If so you that need the it husband delivering. thinks they've had it done. Absolutely. <laughs> when, when you check out, I always say, actually, do double check your address when you check out. I'm going to just, little admin, Jane. Yes. I'm going to mention this because there's quite a few emails have gone out recently. I try and find the time to quickly scan everyone's address to make sure it looks like it's right. Now, I know where a lot of you live better than you do, I think, <laughs> because quite often if you've used a device, whether it be a phone, a laptop, a, an iPad, something like that, a tablet, these devices like to very helpfully pre-fill your information for you. They don't always put the information in the correct boxes, and sometimes they miss out whole swathes of information. They might miss out your full first line of address. Or it might say that you live at number 12, Derbyshire, um, and that it's got your postcode. Now, in theory, your parcel should get there. In practice, things tend to come back. So I will say, just when you check out on any website, just have a little glance. But if you do want to buy from us and have it delivered somewhere else, 
maybe it's a gift you're buying. Maybe it's not that you're just being a little bit devious and <laughs> having your delivery sent somewhere else. We maybe. don't condone lying to no, your no, husband, no, no, but... <laughs> but sometimes needs must. Um, so just make sure that your billing address is correct for where your card <coughs> is registered and that your shipping address, you've just checked it, checked it, made sure it's correct. We can send it to a different shipping address than your billing address. If you do want to buy as a gift, we don't include paperwork with our orders anyway. So if you're buying as a gift, don't worry. There's not going to be a big invoice in there saying what you've paid or anything like no. that. It just goes out, wrapped, no paperwork. So that's great too. Yeah, it's good. But yes, we may in the past, especially on the astropology front, we may have sent things out before with a little congratulations on your win type note. Um, and that's not for us to decide. No. That was just a suggestion from a customer and we were happy to oblige. Yes. We're all for yes, keeping our customers happy. <laughs> we are, especially when it's for beautiful things like this. Yeah. Um, Jane, we have, oh gosh, Fiona is over in Tokyo. She says, good evening from Tokyo, lovely people, lovely fabric and quilt. So true. So true. She gets them out everywhere. I tell you, I want to talk to Fiona. I want to know where I need to see in the world. It's very <laughs> exciting. Yeah. Uh, she's hoping that everyone's safe and well after the worldwide weather patterns also. Crazy weather. But yeah, it has been crazy weather. Sylv says, autofill is not helpful. I have to correct it every time. Yes, I know. That's the thing. It, it's, you know, it is how it is, unfortunately. Um, but I do try and keep an eye as best I can. However, that is not a guaranteed service. That is it, if I happen to notice. Martin has made an extraordinarily helpful contribution here. No bi biscuits mentioned. <laughs> Can someone mention a beach bag? These would be stunning in a beach bag. They would, yes. It would be amazing. You could strip piece and then make panels for a beach bag. Absolutely. That is a fabulous idea. And yes, Martin, there'd be enough room to pop your biscuits in also. Yes, definitely. Marvellous. Jane says, temperature quilt sounds an interesting and fun make. I might need to look into it. You could do that with EPP as well, you know. Just yeah, you could. Your, yeah, hexagons. Hexagons. Order, but be beautiful. I've seen people do it with flying, um, flying geese as well, which is rather good fun because one month the flying geese go down and then the next month they go oh, up and nice. so, so on and so forth. And that gives a lovely effect too. Auntie Lizzie says, what happens when you alternate the strips one bottom to top? Like this. Ooh, well, that looks pretty as well. Would look rather lovely, wouldn't it? And then your next strip you'd have going from the reds down again. I bet you're rummaging around now. You will find some bits and bobs to show. We do like to do this. If you've got a bit of an idea of what you'd like to see, just tell us. We'll have a look. So then your next strip would look like that. Nice. And you could do it. You could start with the blues and have, the, have it yeah, going nice. that way. I like the idea as well, Jane, of having them still same way up, but just stepped down by one. So you've got, yeah. you know, oh, there's so many options, so many options. But yes, a Bargello has been mentioned as well. Now, <laughs> I'm not asking you to explain the full, <laughs> the full piecing of a Bargello, Jane. We can, we can but just give, to a, give a an brief idea of, description yeah. of how a Bargello works. I am loading onto the website, the, onto today's collection, the Bargello pattern as well. So do go and have a look at today's collection. Um, like I say, natashamakes.com, Make It Monday, or Watch Live. Click View All and scroll down and you'll see the Bargello pattern on there and it will give you a really nice idea of exactly what that pattern looks like. When you do a Bargello, you, cut your, you, you do your strip sets like this and then you cut your width of fabric in different widths. This is all the same. You make it into a tube and then you cut your strips into the different widths, which gives it like a wave effect. So for this one, you'd have back at the top, you'd have that fabric would come here against that one. And then you'd have those two there. So it step, steps down each time it's different widths and it gives it like a wave effect. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. And it's quite, it looks really intricate, but because you do it in this strip piecing way, 
again, it doesn't take a long time to, to get it together. And also you'll make it in panels, which you then can join and you can have fun moving the panels around to create different effects. Sometimes the curve will go like that, or you could have it so that the curve went that way. Yes. And when you put them together, you get like a whole circular shape or like you can put them in the same way. So you get like waves or we did one and we put them and it and it carried on through and it caused like a, a wave to go across diagonally. Yeah, Auntie Lizzie's saying it would make a cracking Bargello. Like I say, just have a little look at the website, have a look at the Bargello pattern and you will see what we've done with it previously. We've done more than one Bargello show now. So if you were to buy this kit and want an idea of how that technique works, you've got those tutorials to view back at any time. You know, if you go been onto four the, years now. Yeah, if you go onto the product page, it tells you, yes. doesn't it, where, when and where that was. And then if you go on to catch up, if you go to, um, is it catch up or is it show, live, show, watch the show? I can't remember, watch but the show, top on yeah. the top um, bar and then on to catch up and then you can put in the date. If anyone has got pen and paper to hand or wants to come back to this show at some point and rewind a bit and listen, um, the shows that we did, we did one on the 12th of May, which was a Wednesday, Wednesday 12th of May 2021. So you'll definitely find a demo there. And then the second one that we did was Wednesday 27th of July 2022. Can this you time believe we did another one then, isn't it? Really? Two years, Jane, since we did a Bargello. But yeah, this would look stunning. And as much as the idea of creating a tube, etc., etc., sounds quite complicated, it's been one of our most popular makes, actually, at Marshall, yeah, hasn't it? It is. It's, it's an actually a visually complicated looking quilt, yeah. but goes together relatively quickly. And once you've got that technique, because you can do it with the same size strips and it creates a trip around the world style quilt. So yeah. The technique lends itself to more than one one style of quilt, so it's Definitely. lovely. Definitely. Oh, Jane, this has been lovely. Beautiful. Yes, you're going to have fun with this. I just know you are. Yes. Because it was fun. <laughs> I did enjoy making and it. And quick. Yeah. You know, yeah. there was no quilt and then there was a quilt. <clears throat> I did. Great. I did get it done in two days. From great. the beginning to quilting and writing the instructions. So that tells you, because obviously when I'm writing the instructions, it takes a bit long because I have to stop and take pictures write down the process and all of that. Yeah. But I did that in two days, <clears throat> which shows you how quick it did go together. Definitely, it's amazing. It's a beautiful make and yeah, compliments the fabrics perfectly, Jane. Yeah. Looks great with Natasha's bags from last week. It as does, well, actually, absolutely it? stunning, yeah. Yes, in fact, Martin's saying about a beach bag, but yeah, those, yeah. they were beauties, weren't they? Yeah. I'd love to see actually getting some of these strip sets, any bits that are left over and making panels for one of these bags. Yeah, with, with denim flat. or pay, a plain fabric. Yes, <clears throat> oh, that would look gorgeous as well. There's all the options, isn't there? And we love to see your makes too. So if you come up with something special, please, 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 if you're happy to share, do take a photograph. You can go to our website, natashamakes.com, click onto the community makes page and you can upload your image onto our website there. Now, please bear in mind, when you upload an image, it is visible by everybody who visits our website. It's not a for our eyes only situation. Yes. So do make sure you're happy with that. If you click upload and it doesn't show straight away, that is absolutely normal and fine. OK, don't think you've not done it properly. It's all right. It goes into a holding area of sorts while our Sorosh has a little look, checks that it's suitable to go on the website yes. and then loads it up. When I say suitable, Jane, we do because get people. There are naughty people who yeah. might send us unsavoury things, so we can't just allow things to auto upload to our website. No, we it's have not to like just we're looking it. at your make and seeing if it's good enough. That's no. not what it's about. It's about making sure that we don't end up with any content that's perhaps inappropriate. Yes. Because we don't want that. And if you don't want to share it, but you'd like us to see, you can just send an email to info at Natasha Makes and just put just wanted to show you please don't upload it to the community page yeah. and that's lovely because we do like to see what you've made we do jane especially um, <coughs> and she really likes it when you have your own spin on her make yes i so. really love it when you adapt things because yeah. it's had, nice you've had some fabulous ones come through, yeah you? absolutely i love it i like to see it when um the seagull make last year yes. when one lady went crazy on the seagulls she did all things with yeah, the seagulls and it was so stunning and little so cartoon Word bubbles and yeah. ice creams and all sorts of things. It was, it was lovely. Grand. It was brilliant. But it makes our day. 
Um, because, you know, we are here Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesday for you at 10 a.m. But other times we are sat packing orders. Yeah. Squirrelling away, planning your next shows. So don't forget us. We're always here. Absolutely. We like to see yes. these things, don't we? We do. We do. <coughs> My voice is going. Yes. I'm going to have to go and get a glass of water. <laughs> glass Mine's of gone, squash. I think. <clears throat> Terrible. I think we're just both fit to go back to bed. Yeah. That's how it is. Just going to double check we've got no final questions. Here we go. See you in the morning in Australia, says Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, Auntie Lucy says she remembers really concentrating watching you do the Bargello, but you just whizzed through it. And Fiona loves this step down effect. Yes. Which I do as well, actually. I think that's And there's gorgeous. nothing to stop you doing that with, you, with this quilt. Nope. You know, you've got your, your strip sets. You can rearrange the yep. order if that's you want it. to. Really straightforward. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, right. Well, it was lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Uh, Natasha will be with you tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'll be off camera. I only put my face on one day a week. It's too much hassle otherwise. She but yes, need she'll a face be here. I'll sniffling. be there 10 a.m. tomorrow. Please do join us. In the meantime, order your bits and bobs while you can. We have uploaded what we can get in the other fabrics. Martin says, I have a question. Would you like some biscuits? Always, Martin. Yes. Um, we're going to go in the kitchen and find one now. We never okay. say no to a biscuit. Never. Never, ever. <laughs> Can you guess? You I know. Never <laughs> biscuit. You take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.